What's up guys, as you can see behind me, the Jeep is inside the garage and whenever the Jeep is inside the garage as I sneak past this little thing, whenever the Jeep is inside the garage, that means finally some work is gonna get done. Finally, we have a little bit of break in the weather. It's a little bit warmer out today. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna finally just install or finish wiring up this LED light bar. I have my wiring harness, which is right here. So this wiring harness, um, I bought it online. Actually, the cool thing about it is it, it has, there's no switch. It's actually a attachment that goes like this. Uh, if it, no, you can't really see, oh, there it is. You can see that. So yeah, so I'm gonna do pretty much almost the same exact thing just with this one. Big difference is this guy does not have to go into the cabin. Believe you're gonna snake it. Uh, it has some type of uh, adhesive on the back of this thing. Um, yeah, it has has a fuse and a relay, so same type of deal. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna wire this guy up, and uh, we're gonna see how it looks. Hopefully, this comes out good or correct. Oh, another thing is, I'll show you guys the wires that are um, that came with this light bar. It's just tilted down at the moment, but with this light bar, there's no. Uh, There is no uh, connection, so I have to actually uh, kind of like uh, solder that and connect those. But I would do that. That shouldn't take. That shouldn't be too hard to do. And then, um, yeah, everything else is gonna should be fine. I'm gonna figure out the best way to get the wires to tuck in. I'll show you guys once all this stuff is figured out, and uh, when I have a better game plan of what I'm gonna do. So yeah. Perfect. Alright guys, so I'm back. Actually, I just took a break because, man, it got colder than what I thought. My fingers were getting really cold. Anyways, long story short, this is what I had to do for the wire. Now, I actually did see this online. Some people were complaining that this, the actual wire to go to the light bar wasn't long enough if you had to hook it up to your battery. Um, like this other light kit, the, the actual the, the lighting or the, the wire is like really, really long. It's actually long enough that I was able to rope it around and go underneath there to the, um, into the, the cabin. This one, um, it's long, but not long enough to do that. So this is what I pretty much had to do. Can I have to sneak this? I can, you can't see anything, hang on. All right, as I was saying, there's like a little hole down there. You can't even see, but there's daylight sticking out through there. Yeah, you can't see, but there's there's some daylight sticking out through there. So what I had to do, stick it through here. I had to unloosen this uh, just a tad bit just to get the wire. So you can see the wires right there. Um, this probably isn't the best method to do this, but uh, you, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do this for right now. I'm gonna retighten these back up and get this nice and tight, but. It actually comes out right there, and here goes the wires. And I'm gonna connect everything up and test it out. Hopefully everything works, but yeah, this is my improp way of trying to get the wires through. I mean, there's probably, I probably could get it underneath here, underneath the firewall and everything. It's just so cold out and I don't have a lift. So I'll do this for right now and um, I'll see how this works out. If I don't like it, I can always change it down the line, but this is what I'm gonna do for right now. All right, guys, so the way I, this actually took me a little bit longer to do than what I was expecting. I actually started filming that other section a couple days ago. Um, I'm just finishing this install up now. 
the way I had to basically do it, um, I had to snake this cord basically around the outside of the Jeep and it's kind of coming through the door panel. So if you open this up, you'll see it's going through here from right there and there goes the cords. I still have to clean everything up because it's kind of crazy, but that's the general idea. But yeah, I still have to clean everything up. It's still kind of crazy, but this, that's the general idea. And now I have the cords going up and have them uh, connected right there. And then the 50 inch light bar is coming down the wire and it's right here. I'm gonna probably tuck everything underneath the this pillar. The way I had it before, I had the wire coming down. I'm gonna probably do something like that, have the wire tucked inside here, but I wanted to at least get it hooked up, make sure it works. And I am happy to report that it does. So this like button works, so it cuts it on, cuts it off. Now, if you press this though, you can probably hear. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you can hear that. Um, I'm not sure if the relay inside there went bad or not, but when you try to turn or press these buttons, it makes the, like this clicking sound, the relay. Um, hasn't caused me any problems, um, as long as I turn it off and I can turn it back on. So I'm actually wondering, it's probably because this light bar doesn't have like a, not like a flickering system or it doesn't have like a dimming. So that's what I'm thinking maybe it's doing. Or maybe that actual noise just be it turning on and off, so it's kind of that's what that's what's making it flicker. So I'm not sure, but at least for right now, it seems to be working fine. So this like little key fob is actually pretty cool. It works, you know, pretty decently well. So I'm happy about that. I am upset though. My other little cube light uh, cube up there isn't working right now. I tried to see what was wrong with that one. Um, I have no idea, but this one does work. But at least I have the 50 inch light bar, so I'm really happy about that. Um, but yeah, so overall, this is my setup. I'm going to have to clean things up a bit, but at least for right now, it's working. Perfect. Perfect.